What's going on guys, CKD123 back in our video, and uh, today is a video for the ages. It is official. Drake has dropped the Views from the Six album artwork exclusively on his Twitter. Not exclusively, I mean he dropped it on his Twitter exclusively, so I guess that's exactly what I meant. Beside the point, we have finally got the artwork. Everyone assumed that it could have been uh, the um, logo with, you know, it's the hand and the eye, you know, uh, that maybe could have been it. I mean, that's what at least what I was expecting, you know, I was just um, expecting uh, something a little bit more, you know, low key than what we got uh, for this art. This, this artwork, I love it, right? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how else you want me to. I had it in a text message to me since I was at church. But, um, so, you know, I didn't get to see it, like, on my timeline number, but I saw it, you know, in a text. And I was, man, I don't know. Like, I, I just love the artwork, all right? I love it. I feel like it fits the title, obviously. It fits. I hope it captures the mood of what, you know, this album is. And, you know, views from the six, right? When we, but if you read that title, right? I feel like this whole entire album is going to be about where Drake has been, where he's from, what he was, and where he's going, who he's becoming, and what he will be, right? It is it is it is looking beyond the horizons of now because you are where you're at now, right? It's it seems it seems like a very a very deep album, you know, at least for my perspective right i could be taking it way too deep and way too you know cryptic and you know i could be you know thinking too much into this but that's what i feel like the overall album is going to be about right and i feel like you know in a way all of drake's album has had a message to it right nothing was the same he you know he's basically you know the whole entire album is about what it was to come to fame and how that changed him, right? And how that has changed him for the better, some for worse, but you know, how that has affected him, right? Because nothing was the same, right? And even like a Take Care, you know, he has, uh, you know, um, said why the album is called Take Care because, you know, he felt like Take Me Later was too rushed and that, you know, Take Care was a cohesive project that he could, he could take his time on and, you know, craft and really perfect, right? While Think Me Later was more of like a was 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 more of a rushed album. It was, you know, just his debut album that he wanted to get out, right? And so, you know, he felt that he could take care of every track in Take Care and, you know, sculpt it and craft it into something great, right? But also I feel like I feel like Take Care is not only the pretense to nothing was the same just because it came out before it came out before then it was the same, but it's it's that pretense of who he was before he got big, and and it's and it's that pretense of when you feel something big happening and you feel something coming, and you realize that it's coming, and because that it's coming, you have fear of what you will lose. You have fear about how your life will be affected right that's you know what i take away whenever i listen to take care you know in full is that it's it's that it's like that moment when you almost jump off the cliff right it's that moment that everything that happens beyond this point nothing will be something that i'm aware of nothing will be something that i'm used to everything will be brand new it there's nothing that i can fall back on that i used to know like everything from this point on is brand new and it's and it's a new chapter right that's how what i feel like take care is right and views i feel like is the you know based off what we know about the album right and we can only speculate right because you know um especially me because i don't know any any of the um two new tracks one dance or pop so i don't know if those have any you know cohesive undertones or you know um you know ways that you know they are trying to set up the album i have no idea what those tracks have but pertaining to you know the title of the album and what i feel like is coming through in the artwork right i feel like this is going to be 
an entire album on where he's been, what he was, versus where he will be, and what he will become, right? Basically what I see views from the sixes, right? You know? And uh, it's just, I feel like this, this artwork encapsulates and fully defines what I think the album is going to be, right? And I, and I could be, you know, wrong. I was wrong about the date, right? You guys all know that. And I could possibly be wrong about what this album is about. You know, that's, that's, that could definitely happen. This, this album could be kind of like if you're reading this is too late, you know, was, you know, where it was just, it was just a collection of just tracks that, you know, were throwaways that, you know, he didn't want to put on views, right? That's, that's what he has said, you know, that was. Like, it's essentially a mixtape if it's too late, right? It doesn't, you know, it's not meant to have a cohesive message or, you know, a underlining tone like an album is supposed to have, right? I mean, you know, not supposed to, but for the most part, you know, what in what an album has, right? And, um, that, you know, views might be just one of those things, right? Views might just be, you know, a combination of just tracks that, you know, he just made, right? But based on the severity of the title based on the severity of this artwork i feel that this is something way bigger than what any of us were expecting so uh, that's you know all like this is just me kind of you know uh just my reaction i guess to the artwork right and just what uh thoughts i ensued uh while looking at the artwork so that's all i gotta say and uh, of course Views from the Six is officially dropping April 29th, 2016, which is this Friday, and you guys better expect me to do the best reactions review video I have ever done in my entire life. Because they're, they're, a Drake album is few and far between and is not an everyday occurrence. And this video that I will make on Views from the Six, when it finally comes out and I get to give you guys my reactions, my live reactions at that to each track individually it will i promise you that is a not that is a not miss video i promise you i will make the best video of all time <laughs> no but in all seriousness uh i can't wait to make that video and i can't wait to listen to views from the six this friday april 29 2016 on apple music exclusively i believe for the first week uh, if I'm not mistaken, man, and uh, of course it'll come to various uh, music services uh, a week later when it uh, lifts its Apple Music exclusivity. But that's all I gotta say about this video and the artwork for Vision the Six. Uh, as always, if you guys like the content, please support me, right? Like, share, all that good stuff if you're a Drake fan, right? And as always, comment down below your thoughts on the artwork. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you also I have a question? Do you guys feel that Drake is edited? on the tower or is he actually there i don't know i can see it being edited but i can also see him being you know actually there i'm not really 100 sure how i feel about that but if you guys have any opinions leave it in the description below as always and uh also in the description you can find my various media accounts my twitter instagram Snapchat, all that good stuff you can find it on there below and follow me on those various media accounts and uh, that's all i guess of the video hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always i got you